world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer, and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Now, most recently, I talked about uh, my struggles with uh, looking for a job right now, to uh, what it is like for me to uh, look for a job in today's economy versus uh, what it is like to live on the autism spectrum and try to perform a job interview. And uh, one of the areas that I uh, really would like to discuss is you know all the types of programs that are out there for people with special needs and human detouring systems. Um, one of the things that I'd like to say is that I'm not trying to put anybody down. I think that uh, these programs are wonderful because uh, they're standing up against work discrimination and uh, talking to somebody with a special need that uh, has maybe an emotional type of an issue to learning how to communicate. And uh, I really think that's great. One of the issues I'm having with these uh, work programs though is I notice that a lot of them are not teaching people to uh, pass a job interview. I mean, they're not practicing with them. They're not teaching them how to work on a resume. They're not they're not teaching them any jobs, any new job skills, and teaching them how they can uh, get past bagging groceries or mopping floors. They're not teaching them how to run a cash register. They're just, they're not working with them. I feel like um, they're just babysitting them and collecting their paychecks. On top of all that, uh, I've also noticed that these job coaches will go into an interview with you. And um, they won't teach you to say anything they'll just be there for support and then when you get the job they, they come in and out but but it's like when you want to look for another job based on your qualifications and your skills they're not doing anything the only types of jobs that they're putting out there are uh, I mean not really low-end jobs ones where you bag groceries and work as a janitor um, where or where you uh, where you where you make pizza where you put together boxes at a pizza restaurant. You know, different types of things like that. They're not really doing any real research. They're not really making any network connections. And it's almost like they're socially blind to those that have special needs, that have degrees, and they, they have all kinds of skills in an area. You know, they're, they're not really going out there and, uh, and making little networks. It's like they're ca uh, categorizing, uh, categorizing them in a little box and it bugs me um, and then when you lose the job and that uh, organization can no longer work with you I feel like I feel like that person has to start from scratch they either have to try to interview themselves and they fail interview after interview or they have to start from start you know uh, start from scratch and go somewhere else or reapply through the DOL so and um, my advice to you job coaches and work programs alike please 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 do your research and realize that there are people with special needs that are just as capable of as performing a regular task that you are doing please stop babysitting your clients please help them jump over certain hurdles and help them have a regular career like you because they they're not stupid <laughs> until next time I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now bye